Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a time lapse of some chalkboard art I did recently and some tips along the way. So first of all, um, you're going to want to use guidelines and by guidelines I just mean very light lines um, that are in your reference piece if you're copying a piece of art off of the internet or Pinterest or something like that or that you put on a piece that you designed yourself. And this is just going to help you to make sure that everything is centered, that it's lined up the right way, and that you have enough space for all the letters because it can be really annoying if you do a whole um, line of letters and then realize that you ran out of space for the last one or two letters because you do not want to have to go back and redo those. So it'll just save you a lot of time and a lot of heartache if you um, go ahead and do those guidelines to start off with. Secondly, um, you should use a Q-tip and water to erase your guidelines or to erase any smudges or imperfections. And this is going to help because um, then you won't have a big bulky paper towel or um, some other thing that you're trying to erase with because the lines are very small and you're going to have to get into small places and you want things to be very precise. So using a Q-tip and water will help you a lot. Next, you want to work from the top down, and this might seem really obvious at first, but I did not think of this because I am an artist and um, I just like to start wherever I want to. Maybe I would have started with a hot chocolate so that I can make sure it's in the right place or because that's the boldest thing, but I was looking up on the internet some tips for doing chalkboard art before I started doing this, and it said to work from the top down, and I was like, wow, that makes so much sense. So. You want to do this because obviously if you don't do this you're going to smudge it very easily and you want to keep in mind that you want to do literally everything from the top down. Even the snowflakes I added um, at the beginning like when I was up at the top I added those snowflakes because um, otherwise you're going to have to kind of float your hand above the chalkboard and it can be really hard to draw like that especially if you're not used to it. So you definitely want to make sure that you plan out everything exactly like you want it at first. Um, and then you can work from the top down. And lastly, don't worry about imperfections. This is chalk. It's a totally different type of medium than drawing or painting. So imperfections are welcomed in this type of medium. Little smudges are okay. They're acceptable. They even add some charm to it. So if there's a little bit of a smudge or it's not exactly perfect how you want it to be, or even like in the hot chocolate, the lines are kind of um, streaky in my lettering, but I was okay with that because it's chalkboard and also this was my first time doing it. So just um, be lenient with yourself and just accept those little imperfections. So another thing that I didn't think about initially before I started actually doing this piece was to plan out everything. So you'll either need to have a reference picture that you're copying, or if you're creating your own, you'll want to write it out on a piece of paper and make sure that everything is exactly how you want it, even with little added details like snowflakes and stars so that you can add those in right where you want them. So go ahead, gather some inspiration from Pinterest or from the internet or from some blogs or create your own idea. And at the end of this, I hope you'll have a piece of art that you are proud to display in your home or at a event. Thanks for watching.